everyone, and welcome back to another week of Paprika's Craft Corner. I'm so excited that you are joining us this week. So I am going to try to learn something new. Um, so I'm doing something I've never done before, and I'm very excited to give this a shot and see how it goes. Um, I'm sure you've seen them. They're very popular right now. They're these little mushroom fairy houses. Uh, and so I want to give it a shot and see how it goes. So let's see how it goes. Okay, everybody. So to make this fairy mushroom house, I took a jar. Uh, I was going to initially make it to where like I could put a light in it and I couldn't get the jar open. My husband couldn't get the jar open. We tried everything for like 20 minutes and then I just said, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> it became too uh, frustrating to try to do that, so I just moved on. I used tin foil. Um, the video I had seen initially actually is cardboard, but like I don't have that kind of cardboard at home, uh, not right now anyway. So I just used tin foil uh, to build it up, which I've used before um, when I was working with paper clay before. Uh, I used it to make a mask. So, you know, I know it, that it could work and I decided to go that route. So here I am. Um, I'm gluing the tinfoil because I didn't want it to slip and slide. Um, so I was just using a low temp uh, tinfoil thing and trying to shape the mushroom house, at least uh, what I thought I wanted it to look like. It's going to change um, a little bit later. But so I'm using uh, DOS modeling clay. Uh, it is an air hardening clay. Uh, it's very interesting to work with. It does not, um, it doesn't smooth out as well as I would like. Uh, so it's harder to smooth, uh, out the edges. Um, even when I did use like water, I tried various tools here. I'm trying a tool that was definitely not made for that, but I tried it anyway. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but it wouldn't really, uh, you couldn't really get rid of the edges. Um, it was very hard to do to get rid of those edges and that was kind of a bummer for me but um, I did put on the the clay uh, very slowly it took my time um, it's drying right now it's actually kind of forming a few cracks so what I'm hoping to do is cover it in Mod Podge um, and hopefully that'll fill in the cracks and kind of keep it all together for when I actually paint um, so this is definitely the biggest thing that I've ever made with paper clay. Um, this is the first time that I've made a, a fairy house. and I'm very excited about it. Um, so yeah, I'm still just putting on the clay. It took a lot longer than I expected it to. Um, and it was really frustrating. I've, I kind of wish I'd started from the bottom and gone up. Um... I don't know that there would be necessarily a reason to do that or not, but it was uh, more difficult to actually put the bottom on there with the top already there. So if I were to do this again, I think I would probably change that. And I would probably also actually use uh, cardboard um, just to get like a smoother surface. And I might use a different clay, honestly, um, because yeah, I, we'll see. We'll see. I may use this clay cause this clay, you know, it is easy. You don't have to bake it or anything. Um, but like I said, it was hard to smooth it out. So if anyone has any um, recommendations on that, then, you know, let me know. So here I am finally getting to the bottom of the mushroom cap. Um, my mushroom is a little wavy on some edges and I just decided, you know, that's fine. That's okay. It doesn't have to be a perfect mushroom. Um, so here I actually, uh, I wanted it to kind of have like a bell bottom look to it. And I realized that if I didn't add that extra tin foil, it wasn't going to have that. So I went ahead and added extra tin foil and kept going. As you can tell, um, this was a jar of, uh, dip <laughs> for chips. <laughs> Um, but from what I've read online, really, you can make it out of whatever uh, kind of jar you have. Uh, different shapes can create different looks, so on and so forth. This was just a jar that I had, and I was like, well, I'm going to use this jar. You know, recycle. So here I am, still trying to smooth it all out. Um, covered, absolutely covered in clay at this point. I am using more water and kind of dabbing it on there, trying to smooth it out a little bit. Um, the underside of the cap was the hardest. It's probably the most uh, rough. Uh, even now, it, it looks a little rough when it's while it's drying, but that's okay. Um, 
there's probably other things that I could have done differently. I didn't really watch a tutorial on this one. I just kind of went for it. I was like, well, you know, it's clay. I, I've worked with clay before. Surely I can do this. I should have probably watched the, <laughs> the tutorial and I recommend you do the same if you want. Um, it's going to turn out cute though. So I kept adding layers and layers and layers um, to various areas to try to make it, you know, more uniform and, and the actual shape that I wanted it to really get that kind of bell bottom look. Um, and like I said, I used water to kind of uh, smooth it out a little bit. You can do that. You can also, I think it said you can use vegetable oil as well. Let me check with that really quick before I tell you the wrong thing. Um, I think water is what it recommends. Maybe. Now I can't find it on the, the darn thing. Um, either way, one thing I didn't notice, and that's my bad, I should have read all about this ingredient. Really, you should read about any ingredient that you're going to use um, before you actually start using it. Um, but it takes about 36 to 48 hours to dry. Um... Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So wet hands or while wearing hand lotion. That's it. Um, not vegetable oil. It has vegetable oil in it. Uh, so don't, don't use vegetable oil, <laughs> but use water or lotion. Um, but anyway, yeah, it does take 36 to 48 hours. So this is actually going to be my first two part video because, um, I do not have time tomorrow to record me painting it. So it's going to be drying and then I will be posting a new video. So here I am trying to add details. Um, I made a little door, um, trying to add in those details and kind of give it some texture. That was actually really hard. Um, I'm not used to like actually giving texture to things normally. Like I kind of paint in the texture, uh, cause like in theater, you know, you don't always have actual texture on like a set. You, you may paint it so that it looks like it has texture, um, but you're just fooling the audience cause they're far enough away that you can do that. So here I actually did try to create texture on the door um, and gave it a huge uh, doorknob. Um, I was imagining like these little red berries um, that my family used to have. Uh, that was kind of what I was thinking of whenever I put it on there. So I'll probably paint it like one of those. So then I'm adding the details. Um, honestly, I'm making it up as I go. <laughs> I did not plan it out as well as I should have. I knew that I wanted a door and I knew I wanted a window, um, but I didn't really know how it was going to look. And so I wanted to just see. So here I am trying to create this kind of window looking thing. Um, I wanted it to look kind of like it had twigs. So, you know, it looks more natural, so on and so forth. So I'm adding, uh, detail. I'm adding that texture again. I'm going to go in and paint it here. I'm adding like a little, uh, chimney. It looks really weird. It kind of looks like uh, an ogre ear. Um, I don't know if it's because I just made an ogre and maybe that was a shape that was in my head, but <laughs> that's what came out. It was definitely not my intention. Uh, it just was. <laughs> um, so, but I think I'm going to paint that part, uh, like silver, kind of make it look like it's, um, you know, metal that's been rolled up like a little sheet metal kind of thing. I was going to make it a flower and uh, I quickly quit on that. As you could see that petal, I was like, nah, this is not going to work. I don't know what I'm doing well enough. Um, probably would have had to carve uh, out the flower before I actually put it on there. So here I'm making grass. Well, I'm making something that is supposed to appear like grass. Um, so I'm using this little knife that I have with my clay and what I was doing is just going all in one direction. And then I accidentally went in an opposite direction. And I realized that when I did that, it actually gave it a little bit more texture and it made it look more like grass because grass, you know, it doesn't always go the same direction. It always, doesn't always go the same way, so on and so forth. So, you know, I was just like, sure, let's just go with that. So when this video is over, this will not be a completed item. I will finish this in part two, and I do hope that you will join me for that and actually watch part two as well to see how this oddly adorable 
little uh, fairy house comes out. And, you know, maybe I'll make a fairy to go with it. We'll see. Um, I think I will. I think that'll be fun, right? Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> oh, I added rocks to the chimney because I didn't like the way it looked. You know what? I should have done the whole darn thing in rocks. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> All right, and here you're going to, see, well, you can kind of see it, but there it is. And next week, I'll show you the rest. <laughs>